Okay, we're still at the Wolf Creek site here, but we've moved a bit down slope and we are now in a, in a subalpine tundra or a shrub, shrub tundra ecosystem. And what we're seeing, if we look around a little bit at the vegetation, we're seeing a similar mix of species to what we saw up at the top of the hill. We've got some, you see some uh, bur shrubby birch here behind me. Uh, there's a, a lot of mosses and lichens down here. The mosses being uh, something that's more dominant down here because we're in a little bit wetter environment. And the elevation that we're at is, much, is, is quite close to that of uh, a couple of wetlands. There's some wetlands uh, on either side of us right here. And so we're in a little bit different of a, a hydrologic regime here as well. And so what we're going to see down here is that we're seeing a, um, a turbic cryosol again, but uh, although it classes out basically identically to the, the soil that we looked up at the, up at, on the, at the top of the hill, uh, down here, uh, it's much more pronounced, or uh, I guess we could say it's a much more photogenic turbic cryosol. Uh, even though it looks very, very different, it classes out as an, as an orthic eutric turbic cryosol. Uh, a couple of things to note about the overall environment in terms of the, uh, the surface expression. So we're up at the top, we saw uh, the pattern ground and the center part of, the, of the, that circle uh, was unstable enough that it didn't really support any vegetative growth. Down here, we're seeing a, a, a hummocky surface expression where the center part of the, of the, uh, the profile is actually uh, elevated a little bit. And so we've got uh, a, a buildup of, of, of mosses here, a thicker organic horizon associated with it. And so it's not, uh, walking around, it wasn't as, as evident in terms of the pattern ground where we were going to, uh, to, to, to find this particular profile. There was a bit of hummock and hollow topography, but not as uh, in, in a very different way from what we were looking at at the top of the slope. So if we look in more detail now at the soil profile, we can see the different layers that we've got in this. Certainly this is very obviously a turbic cryosol. We've got our, our OM or OH horizon here with little inter, uh, inter uh, intermingling of the OM horizon down into the this layer. So this is that tephra layer that I mentioned earlier. And so even within uh, within that layer, we can see that there are, that, that there's mixing taking place right within that. Uh, we can see that there's uh, a mixture of the colors going all the way down with the OM horizon mixing into the tephra and going all the way down through here and to right basically to the top of the of the uh, CGY horizon. So this would be our OMY horizon here. So our OH at the surface, OMY horizon mixing down in through here, mixing down into the tephra layer. And then right here, this is where we start to get into the, the BMY horizon. So like I said, similar to the soil profile that we looked at earlier, we've got a bit of a lobe shape to the BMY horizon here where it goes around like this. And so we can see that this material is basically being um, there, this material is, being, uh, is going upward, and this material is basically being forced downward within the soil profile through the, the processes of soil, uh, of soil mixing. Down here at the, at, the, at the base of the BMY horizon, we're getting into, the, uh, into our CGY horizon. And just over here then, we've got, uh, we've got evidence that the, of uh, greater moisture in this particular portion of the, of the, uh, of the profile. This is where that BG, um, the BGY horizon is, and so you can see here uh, the the reduced and uh, and oxidized uh, portions of this of the profile in here. So the mixing of the profile uh, basically taking place all through here, and um, in terms of uh, how we would end up classifying this particular profile, again we've got the. Uh, with the BMY horizon, based on the BMY horizon, uh, and on the pH, the depth of permafrost, this would also class out as an orthic eutric turbic cryosol.